Hi everybody, Monica Bodierski here, artist and author of the Shadowland Tarot and the House of Shadows Lenormand Oracle. Hope you all had a wonderful week. Here I am again. And what am I sharing this time? Well, I'm going to try something a little different here. You know, sometimes we know what our situation is. We don't have to ask our tarot cards, right? So then I'm thinking, if that's the case, why don't we then use the cards? I'm sure lots of people have done this before, but let's let's think about this a little bit. If I am needing a little discretion in uh, my life, and that is if you're using my deck, this is instead of the judgment card. So if you're using uh, a standard deck and not mine, which I've swapped discretion for judgment just because um, who likes the word judgy? So. Uh, if I need discretion in my life a little bit, I'm going to pull this card to begin with. All right, so this is your intent card. So I've got my discretion card out, and I need some kind of discretion in an upcoming situation. This, this is my need. What is going to assist me? Uh, oh, of course accomplishing the thing, the three of pentacles, which is about accomplishment. So you might ask yourself, what's the difference between just asking the question? Okay, so, wow, I know I need judgment and discretion, so I could have just pulled a single card. Well, the thing is, as you're looking through the deck, it's to help you fine tune what you actually need. And also, uh, you're choosing something that might be a clue. All right, so you need discretion. Well, the answer is kind of inherent in this card too. Take an overview of the situation first. All right, so not only have you chosen this, which is giving you a slightly different perspective. Trust me, try with and without. Ask the same question without choosing one of the cards and try asking the question by identifying yourself or your situation with one of the cards. All right, so let's see. What if, okay, here, here's one that, you know, I'm, I'm looking through here. Here's, here's one that comes up a little bit for folks who <laughs> read tarot. Hi, everything's just knocked me out of my space and, uh, you know, I, I don't know what the heck to do in my life. This is totally a tower situation. What should I do? Well, then, now don't look, don't choose, and pick another card. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> look, every time I do these, I seem to get the Four of Swords. It's like this deck knows me. So, Tower, this is how you're feeling and you're, you've identified it. You look at a card and you resonate with it. Sometimes the imagery gets us right to the space when we don't know what's bugging us. We can't quite put our finger on it, okay? That's another reason I do that because I, I'm so tired sometimes, and my friends will attest to that, that I don't really know how I'm feeling. And when I look at this, I go, oh yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it right there, bam. Okay, so now you look at that and say, yep, yep, I can see that, uh, well, at least I have an umbrella. Let's, let's look on the bright side of this one for just a minute. Um, and it's just telling me I, re I really need to, to rest. That's, that's what I should do. Okay. So let's try one other one. Um, and again, do it by feel. Leave your brain out of it for a moment because, as I've said before, that can interfere. Sometimes our logical left-sided brain that wants order for everything and has a great capacity for denial is completely bypassed when we just feel and when we use our intuition. So what am I feeling? What am I feeling? Maybe you don't have a problem. Just what am I feeling? Oh, you know what? I just really am feeling super witchy right now. I'm feeling so like got my cauldron full of stuff. Right. So is there a question in that? I don't know. Deck, tell me, because this is how I'm feeling. Do you have a little advice for me today? <laughs> oh, yes, I do. Look, the, the Ten of Cups. And it's as long as you're feeling this way, why don't you just go paint or create or do something joyous and the ultimate joy in your life? Why don't you give yourself that moment? 
okay? There's always a question somewhere and there's always advice somewhere. It's really the way you frame things. So put yourself into the deck. And uh, if you're using my deck, have fun with that. If you look through my deck or you don't have it, you know, pick a deck in which the characters or the imagery is something you really relate to. I generally use uh, a deck for this with characters only because, you know, sometimes I, you know, if I pulled up something that was totally abstract or, or um, just a, a landscape, it might still evoke a feeling, but I'd like to have myself in there, uh, you know, in different situations, just because that rings a little uh, more um, honestly with me. It just seems to get to the point a little bit easier than leaving it up to my, my imagination to fill in that landscape with more confusion, <laughs> so to speak. Because as I said, I often do this when uh, my thinking capacity is just diminished from exhaustion, or I don't really have a question formulated necessarily. I just want to relate to something and get some kind of uh, advice, maybe even when I, I don't have that question at the tip of my tongue. So give that a try. Give that a try. I'm going to try one more. All right. Um, let's see. How am I feeling? Oh my God. I don't even know how I'm feeling. So let me just say, hey, like I can't make up my mind. <laughs> I have too many choices. Ooh, I kind of feel bogged down. She looks a little wet, like she'd been in the rain for a while, just standing there with the one going, you know, I had it. There was a spark, there was a flame, and then it rained. And here I am with, you know, a lot of emotional decisions, and I can't quite make up my mind. We know that's what the Seven of Cups means when you read the book. But let your heart and your feelings pull the card because there's an honesty there. Let me tell you, as I said, it bypasses your, your judgment. It goes right to the heart. So if I was feeling that way, what's, what's a card? And no, I'm not looking. I know you think I could cheat, but I am not. So what's the solution to making up my mind? Get hairy. No, actually... <laughs> Have hope. Have hope. You know, just feel free. Go with the flow. I'm standing in the river here and have hope and faith that things will work out. The stars are the way they are. It's a beautiful night and things are sometimes faded and slated in your favor. Okay, there's a, a freedom here and a culmination. So maybe I should just allow it to occur for this moment. Okay, instead of forcing myself to make up my mind, I can just uh, look at the bigger picture because it is uh, a major arcana card. You know, the minor arcana card of the Seven of Cups for emotional confusion. That's temporary. It'll pass, you know. And what's interesting too is the Seven of Cups is water and the star, well, that little hairy creature standing in water. More water, but a different aspect. Instead of feeling overwhelmed or perhaps you're flailing around in the water without any kind of support, you're standing in something shallow you're not going to drown in. Just go with the flow a little bit. Okay. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Um, please subscribe if you enjoy them. Leave your comments below. Always love to hear your comments and your own experiences. Enjoy this season. It's so wonderful. I really like it when it starts to get darker here in Shadowland. Wow. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.